Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Alright, so this is going to be a quick reading, our first reading of the day for the star sign of Scorpio. So if you have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements, this reading will resonate with you or could resonate with you. Of course, as always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Nation. Definitely subscribe. All right. Make sure that you guys are taking a look at the description box to uh, for any information you would like to know about myself, including my personal reading website, uh, my cash app if you would like to donate to the channel, as well as my CosmicSpiritualShop.com websites where I do sell these bracelets and I hand make these bracelets, the Evil Eye bracelet as well as the Seven Chakra bracelet and other items I have on my spiritual store. All right. <clears throat> All right, Scorpios, let's get into this message. Spirit, angels, guides, and divine ancestors of love and light, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus placements. Please protect my energy as I open this spiritual portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return all dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitoring spirits that's trying to disturb this reading. Ask that you return the energy back to sender tenfold, and it is done. So more to be. Amen and amen. All right, what is the message for my Scorpios? Our first reading of the day. What is the energy? Oh, okay. This one flew out. <laughs> All right, so an energetic message from someone, Scorpios, that said, I should have listened to you. I should have listened to you. Wow. Okay. So there is someone that's stating here that they wish they would have listened to you. I'm not sure what you could have said to this individual, but now they are regretting that they did not listen to you. This can be about people, places, situations, their own life. You know, maybe it's something you told them that will benefit them. Hmm. Tell me more. I should have listened to you. Tell me more about I should have listened to you. All right. Let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. Third party karmic. <laughs> oh, now someone is wishing that they should have listened to you in regards to a third party or karmic. This can be like a child's mother, their own mother, siblings, friends, job situation, anything that's outside of you and this person or even a karmic person, someone that, you know, they needed to learn a lesson from. Maybe you saw with your own eyes how this individual was attacking them or making things hard for them or Whatever it was that you saw in this third party, this person is wishing that they would have listened to you because you know why? You have some spiritual gifts here. So yeah, I kind of picked that up. Either your third eye was very sharp on this third party karmic and whatever you said, it was coming from that spiritual gift that you had, you know, very much like an intuition possibly. All right. So let's get more on this. Let's see what else is going on. Actually, no, I don't want to use those. Let's get this deck here. All right. Tell me more. I should have listened to you and third party comment. Yeah, I'm picking up like it was whatever spiritual gifts that you have with this intuition, you know, whether you're a psychic medium, clear audience, clairvoyance, whatever it was. It's something that you picked up on this karmic or third party that seemed like you were trying to tell someone the negative things that you're seeing or that you're sensing. And at that time, it looks like they did not listen to what you had to say. But now, I, I feel like this person is now seeing the truth about this karmic third party. Yeah, hold on one second. Okay. <clears throat> All right, tell me more for Scorpio. I should have listened to you in third party karmic. Tell me more, spirit. Thank you. All right. So we have here the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, it could be someone in their family. Hmm. Tell me more. Thank you. All right. So we have here the Two of Swords. So I feel like this person is a little confused. I feel like at that time, what whatever you was telling them about a particular family member or someone that they are close to that is like considered family... I feel like they were trying to avoid what you had to say. It's almost like this person was in denial. They didn't know what to think, kind of like which direction to go. All right, tell me more. 
Hmm. Yeah, this is someone who was in denial. It's almost like they didn't want to accept what you were saying or what you were seeing. You know, they were kind of blindsided, I'm getting. Hmm. Tell me more. Thank you. Yep. And it blew up in their face. The tower, Scorpio energy. Yeah. And now it seems like there may be a situation that's falling apart. This third party could be an Aries or a Scorpio. Whoever's a, like a family member or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person didn't see what you were trying to say. They kept like their blinders on. So something here fell apart or blew up in this person's face or some type of secret was revealed. Something shocking. Tell me more. Thank you. Wow, Scorpio energy again. The death card. So this third party karmic could be a Scorpio or an Aries. Mm. Whoever it is, it's definitely something to do with the family. Mother, father, sister, brother, baby mom, baby dad, whoever it is, it's, they're connected to this person. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, something happened with the family, and now this person... Th this is almost like someone being hard hit, but this is someone you had to let see for themselves. They didn't listen to you. And now things are falling apart, or secrets are being exposed, or something like that. But whatever it is, it's some type of ending that has happened. Yeah, oh wow, remember I said something about like family mother figure? Yeah, something about a mother. Oh, oh jeez, mother and father. The Emperor and the Empress. And then we got Ten of Swords. Oh, my God. Some type of ending with a mother or a father or something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is something with family here. Four of Wands. The Ten of Swords here. So, a mother or a father. Something about backstabbing and betrayal. Or this person decided to sever ties with this family. Oh, yep. He's a Swords. It's the truth. Yeah, it's something with family. Something was exposed here. Wow. Wow. It seemed like the truth came out and now this person is in their feelings about it or... <sighs> it's something with the mom and dad. Mm. Wow. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, Spirit, Angels, and Guides. Oh, wow. Oh, child. What's the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? And, of course, guys, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Ten of Pentacles. When it comes to I should have listened to you. Thank you. Ooh. All right. So we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Thank you. All right. So we have here the nine of wands. So the number 99 is here. But what I notice here is that the nine of wands is looking at the nine of swords. I'm hearing like excuses. It's almost like this person made excuses for their family. Some type of scandal or some drama is coming to the surface here. And it's blown up in someone's face. Yeah, it's almost like this person didn't want to accept what it was or what you saw with your spiritual gifts with this family. Yeah, I'm getting like this person made excuses. There may have been like some type of gossip going around about this family. For example, if this person kind of told you the back history of their story or their family life when you guys met or something like that, it's almost like they wanted some type of pity party about their family, whatever they could have said to you. But it's almost like they were still in denial and trying to avoid the truth. So it's almost like they gave you an excuse as to why their family is like this or why the relationship with whoever they consider as family 
of going on but this is someone who's like broken and bruised and damaged here wow hmm Hmm. Wow. <clears throat> it seemed like someone wanted you to feel sorry for them. Some type of scandal could have been happening in a family. It seems like this person painted like a pretty picture of their family, but you saw something different. You seen the truth. But I feel like this is someone who gave you a hard time because I don't know, they didn't want you to know the truth. Oh, shadow, child, shadow shedding all over the place, child. Yeah, I'm, it's like excuses. Like someone just made a bunch of excuses for this family and they wasn't trying to see the truth or they were just trying to avoid it. What is the tower when it comes to third party karma? And of course, take what resonates with that and leave what doesn't. <clears throat> what is the tower when it comes to third party karma? Thank you. All right, so there's two. Wow, yeah. I kind of picked up a female here. An Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and maybe someone who has Taurus, Libra. It's something to do with the mom. Baby mom or mother figure, auntie, sister, whoever it is. It's a third party. So I feel like it's two different women. Because we have the Empress and the Queen of Swords here. They're both in the upright. So there's some drama going on with the female. A mother. This seemed like the type of mother that always has something to say or mm, kind of guarded. Kind of like this is someone who's sweet and kind one minute, but the next minute she's a bitch. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Wow. And then we got another queen here. It's something in... So these third-party karmics are like mother figures. So we got the queen of pentacles in the reverse and the four of cups. So this is the karmic. A to yeah, a Taurus. I'm getting Taurus Libra or something like that. Or Aquarius Gemini. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, something blew up in this person's face. This this empress could be their own mother or a baby mom or something like that. This can even be to the point where someone could be pregnant from a masculine. And I don't know if you may have said this is not your child or something like that. And it's all coming to surface now. And this mother figure could be trying to avoid the truth or cut this person off. What is the death card? I don't know if someone is questioning the maternity of a child. I don't know, but it's some drama. What is the death card when it comes to third party karma? Oh, yeah. So now someone is looking to walk. Now someone is walking away, saying their goodbyes, cutting ties with something that's being exposed here. Tell me more. What's the death card? It's something about a Scorpio here. Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Taurus, Libra. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Someone is closing the door on this karmic, and it's a female. Someone is walking away and leaving someone or this situation behind. Wow. Wow. Mm. Now this person has the weight off their shoulders. They know that this was going to be a risk that they had to take. 
but they did it. They released this baggage here that's been holding on a while. And there's another female. Someone here is, there's a lot of females going on here. A karmic water sign here, feminine. That this person is in a lot of guilt, remorse, and regret. Yeah, they realize they should have listened to you. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to break down these women, okay? So let's see exactly who this Empress is and who this Queen of Swords is. Tell me more about the Empress. Because it's a lot of, it's a female karmic or third party. Wow. So I feel like this Empress and Queen of Swords is the third party, but the karmic was that Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups in the reverse. But it's something about women. It's women energy here. What is the Empress spirit? Tell me more. What is the tower when it comes to the Empress? Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's more women. This is another third party. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So tell me, what is this Queen of Swords? Clarify the Queen of Swords when it comes to the tower. There's a lot of women involved here. Queen of Swords and the Tower. Hmm. Queen of Swords and the Tower. Who is this individual? Oh, hold on. Queen of Swords and the Tower. This Empress and this Queen of Wands is connected somehow. Thank you. All right. So four of pentacles. Yeah. This queen of swords here. This is someone who was a little standoffish or a little cold hearted. This is someone who's a little greedy and they hold back information or this person may be keeping some things to themselves. Sure. What is going on? The nine of cups in the reverse. So whoever this Queen of Swords is, she's unhappy. And it's like she's kind of like holding on to information that she knows. But it's all going to come out in divine timing. She's holding on to something. She's like a very direct person, very honest, but she's keeping to herself that... She's unhappy. Ooh. See, we got the King of Swords in the reverse. Child, this is a lie. Somebody is lying. It's almost like she's keeping a lie to herself. Trying to ask for forgiveness or something like that from spirit. But in divine timing, I feel like something's going to be exposed. That someone here was a liar. Yeah, it may all come to the surface that this woman could have been sleeping with other people or was dealing with others. They was juggling. Oh, my God. There's some drama. All right. So, going back to this. Okay. So, this queen was dealing with a karmic air sign. Someone that she had in her life. Okay, so back to this um, Empress. Now, this could be completely a Libra because, of course, you know, the Empress is Taurus, Libra, and then a Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So another female is involved. There's a Queen of Wands here who's associated with this Empress. What the hell? This a lot. So this empress could be the mother of this queen of wands. It's possible. She birthed a warrior. This queen of wands, whoever this Leo may be, is also a divine feminine. Well, all three of the women are divine feminines, but I feel like they know each other or something. But it seems like 
this empress is like I don't know if she barely deals with this queen of wands what is this knight of pentacles two of wands and the lovers oh lord jesus so gemini energy with both <sighs> child it's a damn puzzle <laughs> This empress is moving slow to commit or connect with this queen of wands. Wait a minute. <laughs> this empress could be dealing in a relationship with this queen of wands? Child, what the hell? Hmm. This Knight of Pentacles is someone else. This is another person involved here. But it seemed like this Empress is moving slow to this Queen. I feel like it's some type of same-sex relationship going on here. Or these women know each other. So it seemed like this empress, I don't know if they're interested in this queen of wands in a relationship. It's like she's slowly moving towards something about a relationship with this queen of wands here. Girl, this too much. <laughs> wow. It's a lot going on. So basically... Okay, hold on. What is the Queen of... Who's this Queen of Wands? How is this Queen of Wands connected to this Empress? Let's find that out, okay? Who's this? The child, uh-uh. King of Wands. You know what? <laughs> we already seen the, the King of Swords in the reverse. So this Queen of Swords was dealing with the Karmic Masculine. This Queen of Wands is dealing with... A king of wands in the reverse. So every child is too much. Yeah, okay. So she's in a relationship with someone who's kind of like vicious and disrespectful. This is like a masculine who's a whore. This may, I don't know. This queen of wands, this may be the mother. Or somehow they connected. But they're in a relationship and there's some, some regret going on here. Child, that's too much. Whoever this King of Wands is, this Queen of Wands could be married or living together with this individual. But I feel like she's regretting marrying this person or being in a relationship. She's ready to turn her back on this masculine because he's very manipulative and tricky and disrespectful. Yeah, this person is a player. Playboy, he's cheating or something like that. Oh, this is like a damn plot twist, child. <laughs> oh, my God. It's see, I don't know why I'm getting this is some type of relationship. So it's like this empress. I don't know if they're slowly but surely moving towards this queen of wands. But this queen of wands is in a relationship with someone who damn near abusing her, cheating on her. And with that lovers that came out, they might try, they might be in a whole relationship on the side or something like that. You know what? Let me get out of this. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh my God. So it's some. Okay. Child, so regardless, you told this person something that you saw about these two women. And they are related to this person or they have some type of connection to this individual because now they're wishing they should have listened to you. But these two queens, they're in relations with liars and deceivers, people who are karmics though. Yeah, that's why that tower is here. It's like something is being exposed here. And it's to the point that now this person is just ready to cut all ties with these individuals. Cut them loose. This can be like, like I said, a baby mom or a mother figure. Something like that. 
auntie, cousin, whatever. This person is wrapping up the cycle with these two two women here. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Okay. Well, this is the reading, Scorpios. All right. Thank you all so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next reading. Bye-bye. <laughs>